Welcome back guys, welcome back. Today I've been messing around with something interesting which I want to show you. Um, Motorola DMR data connections. So what you can do is you can use these radios not just for voice but data as well. Now we all know you can send text messages backwards and forwards on these things which is quite a cool feature. Um, but you can also connect a computer to each radio and then form a data connection between those computers just using DMR. How cool is that? So one of the neat things about Motorola DMR radios is they actually use network connections to do everything. So effectively, this radio has an IP address which you can tap into and send data to and from. And also they have built-in USB to Ethernet capability. So as soon as you plug this into a PC by its program cable, you get a new network device pop up on your PC. Now that opens just a whole new world of possibilities. Right, to show you the principle, I've basically got a little Windows 10 laptop here, GPD Win, and I've got my Motorola R7 DMR radio. And um, what I've done is I've created a Bluetooth personal network between this laptop and the radio so they can communicate with each other. And this basically gives your radio an IP address on the computer, um, which you can then forward stuff to and create connections. And this is all pretty easy to do in Windows. It's all built into Windows, so you haven't got to kind of install anything. Actually, I got some information from the another YouTuber, Electronic Noob Blog, which is, is awesome. He's got some great stuff on there. There he is there, Electronic Noob Blog. He hasn't got many subscribers, but he's got an absolutely brilliant channel with loads of stuff. So go and, go and follow him if you're interested in all this sort of stuff. He does loads of stuff on there. It's one of these little small channels that's kind of, you know, got so much stuff going on. And it's what YouTube's all about. And over here, I've actually got another little Windows box. This is an ARM Windows. This is Windows 11. Um, and I've got this one connected by Bluetooth to my Motorola SL4000e radio on there. So that's set up over that side. And you can see that the little Bluetooth logo has got the little arrow showing that it's connected to a personal area network. So this is pretty cool because you could then put that radio up somewhere really high um, and you're still gonna have a Bluetooth connection so you could strap it on a pole if you wanted to get out really far and that would be that. Now I'll put it over there because it can interfere with the um, the USB hub and stuff. So anyway, what we can do is we can actually ping the Motorola R7, that's its IP address there, we can ping that radio over radio. So we can literally use this computer to send a ping which goes out over the air through that radio. And then I've moved the R7 and the little laptop over there so that it doesn't interfere so much. And um, you can literally just send that. So just go bang, hit that. And then you'll see we're getting some pings coming back. I mean, it's cool, isn't it? Really cool. So full a full house, all pings received and come back. And the radio is acknowledging this as well both ends so you know that's why it's taken a little bit longer because it's it's doing an acknowledgement each time um so yeah you can see that that is forming the part of a the start of a data connection between these two and this is obviously going to work at any range you like um as long as you're in range of the radios it's going to work so if we try it the other way around as well let's just ping the ip address of the sl4000 connected to that system go for it and then we can see that we've got data happening on this radio sending it out and there are the pings now it looks like it's dropped one maybe i don't know why that is but it might just be because they're so close or something but there you go it works both ways pretty interesting and these radios are still communicating just basically making sure they've got all the data because if you do other stuff with this like send you know larger amounts of data or you know you're sending lots of requests backwards and forwards this radio will kind of manage everything. They'll manage the data flow. So if something doesn't get through or a lost packet happens, it will literally just resend that a bit later. So that's why it can take a little longer to do it. But it is a narrow band data mode. So you got, can't you know, forget that. So really cool. So once you've got this data connection, you can do anything with it. Um, now it's not that fast. So you can't kind of, you know, stream video or do anything ridiculous. Even browsing web pages is going to be probably a nightmare. Um, things like SSH and stuff, like just about work, I think. But, you know, you really do need to be kind of concentrating on very, very narrow band data for this. Now on Electronic Noob Blog's channel, he's got another interesting thing which I'm going to try, and that is using an old school PDA, like a Windows Mobile 5 PDA, um, to send and receive email. And then he's set up an email inbox on um, the PC, and you basically you can send email backwards and forwards. Now this is this is awesome. Because PDAs and like the old school vintage stuff is so narrow band, 
um, it doesn't require you know hardly any data. So everything's very streamlined for that for those times where we were running on GPRS. Now, why would you want to do this in the days of like 4G and, and 5G uh, and all these crazy speeds that we're getting right now? It's of course as a backup. You know, anything can happen these days. So it's good to practice these skills. I think you know creating small data networks and being able to communicate when the main systems are down. I'm personally using radio a lot in my circles to communicate um, reliably, not using cell phones, not using the internet where we don't have to. And I'm getting people close to me used to using radios so that if anything does happen and their phones don't work anymore, we can still communicate. Anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed this one. I love messing around with this stuff and I'll catch you next time.